Well, it's time for an update on House Hack, my real estate startup. I call it the Vanguard of real estate. The reason I call it the Vanguard of real estate is because House Hack is really a lot more than some company that's just going to buy real estate. Obviously, that is going to be heavily involved we're going to, in what we're doing because the mission is to take hoarder homes or vacant homes or homes where basically people can't live, they get red tagged out of them, like they're not possible to be rented or sold to people, which means they're actually missing from the housing stock, raising prices elsewhere. We're trying to renovate those and bring them back to the market and while well, retaining management of those. That's that's the whole idea uh, of taking properties that are in distress, being able to provide value to those, and by providing value to those, making money. Now, we're not planning on flipping any properties. What we're planning on doing is setting up something that would create house hack as sort of like a, think like a, a Blackstone or a Vanguard or even Berkshire Hathaway where house hack is kind of the upper umbrella layer and in the future we can have different entities or funds within house hack and so somebody who's investing in house hack is investing in that umbrella layer of whatever we end up doing to try to bring basically democratized access to real estate to everyone so it's really about a seven to ten year plan uh, that's uh, I think it'll probably take about seven to ten years to where we can build this company out and uh, my dream would be to IPO house hack in seven to ten years you know New York Stock Exchange unless the Nasdaq convinces me I don't know but we'll see and so in doing so uh, we have uh, we've really been uh, preparing uh, for getting started with acquisitions and really creating our own products uh, and uh, we're, we've, since we launched in September of last year, we've been of the mindset that the best time to buy could potentially be, you know, we won't know with certainty until the probably longer term future, but could potentially be Q3 to Q4 of 2023. And that's actually just now the beginning of Q3 and uh, going into Q4. Uh, I think this winter will be really interesting because I think we're going to see this confluence of pain in the short-term rental market, uh, the pain of investors who aren't getting the cash yields they used to get, maybe because they have variable loans, some of the investors do, especially the interest-only uh, apartment building uh, aside. And I think there are going to be opportunities for house hack in many different areas, not just single family, but also multifamily and potentially commercial, though that's not the biggest priority for me because I think there's more money to be made right now in single and multi. Uh, so we'll see. But uh, we'll do whatever we can to make as much money as possible. And uh, what we'll probably do is take a very patient approach to acquiring real estate uh, starting uh, now, really. And, uh, you know, we've got about, uh, right now in liquid, about 27 mil. And we have our non-accredited uh, fundraising round coming up in uh, probably, um, we're waiting for a FINRA no objection letter which basically allows us to raise money in states like Texas and Florida as well. Uh, we've already gone through the SEC process, so that's already done. In fact, you can already read the house hack filing by going to sec.gov and typing in house hack, and you can read the prospectus and the solicitation there. I'm just kind of giving you a pre-update here, right? So like, I'm not trying to like sell you securities here, just read that. But or you can also just wait until we actually launch. But uh, the non-accredited round is really cool because it basically means anyone can invest in house hack. Uh, you don't have to be an accredited investor. You don't have to have a big net worth. You don't, you know, anything basically. Uh, there, there are some requirements, but they're, they're a lot more relaxed compared to the accredited investor standard, which is really cool because we'll have the same one-to-one -one valuation for people to invest. And a lot of people ask me, they're like, Kevin, wh why would you do that? Like, why would you raise money at a company at a one-to-one -one valuation? Most people are like, oh, you know, we're raising, uh, you know, $20 million at a $200 million valuation is usually how people would do it, right? <laughs> so you're like diluted 90%. Uh, and so this is just my long-term belief. I'm 31. I think I have a long time to go on Wall Street and in markets and providing value to you. And my thinking is, if I can give back to the subscribers and the course members and the supporters now, 
then, uh, and, and we could do really well with house hack, obviously no guarantees, but we can do really well over the next seven to 10 years, then, then I'm like 38 or whatever, right? Whatever I do between 38 and like 70 or 80, you know, make it to there, knock on wood, will be a lot easier because it's like, hey, here's a new venture. What do you think about this? And I'll have taken care of so many people and had such a strong track record. That's that's my vision. So uh, that's that's why we're raising the way we are. And we're really excited about uh, our vision of creating. I mean, really, I think the best analogy for house hack is think of, think of Vanguard. And imagine you could invest not just, not like in an individual Vanguard fund, but in the actual company itself. Think about it that way. That's, that's the way I kind of look at uh, uh, house hack. And so I'm really excited about that. And uh, we've got a really, really great team. Uh, I've been to probably somewhere around 50 different cities over the last year, about 100 different flights already. Uh, it's worth noting that uh, to date, uh, House Hack has paid zero of uh, uh, the air travel fees uh, for my plane, gas, pilots, none of that. I, I'm covering all of that. I'm doing that because obviously I have a plane, but I have a plane for my personal reasons. I want to be able to be back with my family. Uh, we're expecting to double, if not even more, our family here within the next year. Yeah, that's a hint. Lauren's gonna get mad at me, so don't I, pretend I didn't say anything. But anyway, uh, it, which so like I I need to be a dad too. So uh, that's uh, that's uh, been been my uh, my goal so far is just cover everything plane related, which is great because it gives us a lot of fluidity. Uh, for example, I'll just give you sort of an insight into how functional this is. Uh, yesterday, we actually wrote an offer on a property that was a hoarder house. Uh, it's probably somewhere around $175,000 under market value. I think they listed it about two hundred k under, but it's about a one seventy five dollars under uh, compared to, eh, I guess it'd be more like one eighty eighty five dollars ish under uh, from, from where we think, you know, a, a reasonable purchase price is now. And that property came up yesterday at like 11 a.m., uh, we're going to look at it today, in, in, and it's in a different state. But we already have a commitment to be in another state this morning. So, like, we'll be in one place this morning that's, you know, an hour flight away. And then in the afternoon, we're flying an hour over to the other area to, uh, you know, potentially sign off on our contingencies on this, this acquisition. Uh, and then I'll be able to be home uh, before bedtime. <laughs> <laughs> which is kind of cool. So uh, those, those I think, are very uh, very useful and, and, and functional things uh, for not only the business, but also me being able to train people who are going to be in, in different localized markets. So we're, uh, we're, we're quite excited about uh, how everything is uh, coming together and uh, uh, setting up. So uh, very, very, very excited. Josh here says, found you in early 2020, been an avid follower and course member ever since. Strong desire to learn exactly how to invest my own and you were what I needed to learn. Oh, thank you for that. Really appreciate you saying that. Yeah, uh, worth noting that uh, regarding when we might be able to invest uh, in the uh, in, in house hack, it should be about two to three weeks, uh, which is very exciting. Yeah, very, very exciting. So two to three, uh, my, the really, the goal is by September 1. So uh, stay tuned for that. That's, his house hack is back. No, 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 no. House hack is not a SPAC. Oh my gosh. I, like, I hate the, like, the crazy projections and stuff you see in SPACs. I mean, you all know that. We actually don't even do projections for house hack. We're like, you know, we've been very clear from day one with house hack. We're going to buy and hold real estate, and we might selectively syndicate or uh, uh, or securitize that. Uh, that's basically a way of saying the vanguard of real estate, right? Uh, and uh, that just enables more growth and uh, hopefully higher returns, which uh, which is very exciting. So uh, the the vision's really been the same since day one. I uh, but uh, I don't know that I like. I wish when we first talked about it back in September, I thought of the analogy that we use now, the vanguard of real estate. But uh, but basically the premise is exactly the same. So we're very excited about that. So stay tuned. Uh, I know some people uh, show house hack balance sheet. I'm pretty sure you could you could see our audited balance sheet if you go to house, um, what's it called? If you go to the sec.gov's website, we'll do that right now. sec.gov, can non-course members buy house hack? Yeah, exactly, yeah, you can. 
uh, soon. Uh, so I know some people are going to hear house hack stuff and they're like, oh, you know, another corporation or whatever trying to buy up real estate. You know, I think we're going to provide amazing value. We're going to have incredible, we're going to add to the rental supply. I think we're going to do an amazing job for people. People have to rent properties. Uh, you know, everybody's going to have their opinion. Uh, there's, there's, I, I, I'm not going to be able to please everybody and I've come to accept that. So uh, as much as I, I try my best to. Okay, so if you go to the sec.gov and you just type in house hack, uh, you'll actually see all of these different filings here from uh, July 20th. I think, is this it? That's the actual filing with the Edgar system. This is the subscription agreement. Where is the actual file? Here it is. So here's the actual filing. So you can open the doc. Ah, the Edgar system is a little funny. There it is. And I believe the financial statements are right here. Yeah, there you go. So here are the financial statements. Uh, and uh, this is the balance sheet. Uh, some revenues here from um, treasuries or whatever uh, and so on. So yeah, so it's all here. And these are audited, I think as of, this is as of December. So it's worth noting that these, these uh, figures, uh, you know, we're, we have more uh, now than we did in December because we finished our fundraise in March. So worth noting that. So anyway, yeah, there's a, there's a house hack update for those of you who have been asking and uh, where you can access uh, the latest and greatest info in the goodies. So, uh, all right, that uh, that does it for the house hack segment. Thank you so much. And, and again, stay tuned. You can, uh, oh yeah, you can sign up at househack.com if you wanna receive a notification for when we actually go live for when we start raising funds, by the way. Househack.com. He still has to flip homes. No, uh, I, uh, I do housing developments. At some point in the future, we'll do housing um, developments. Maybe. Uh, and uh, he has to flip house. We, we don't expect to sell any houses on the open market really ever. Can you buy fractional shares of house hack? Well, the shares are going to be, you know, like we're selling shares for a dollar. <laughs> so hopefully you don't need fractional shares. Quick additional questions that came up. Uh, number one, how many employees does house hack have right now? Technically, right now, House Hack has um, a one contracting company that is uh, our investor relations. It's basically our CPA, our you know uh, uh, they, they put together our register, our transfer age, all that sort of stuff. Uh, they're amazing. They're both CPAs. They're phenomenal people. They do a great job. Shout out to Kathy and Bob. Uh, Bob's also a board member. Then we have uh, one uh, person on payroll who does uh, our um, wedge finder app that House Hack wholly owns. And uh, that's it. it. Come when we start operating, which it will probably be now, <laughs> like especially since you know now we're, now we're getting to where we're writing offers. We're going to move people over from other companies. So we would expect that by the end of the year, we'll be closer to about 10. The cool thing is these are already people that I have trained, that I've vetted, they're working for other companies of mine now, and they'll move over, which is really great because then we don't have that sort of learning curve. They've already been trained, they've already been educated, they're already good, uh, so we could have a um, you know contract coordination crew, licensed contractor on the, on the team of, of an additional four, um, maybe a deal analyzers and and agent coordinators of somewhere between four to five to six different people. So that's probably how we're gonna get to 10 pretty quickly. We haven't needed that for the last year. So I thought, okay, well, it's it's not fair to put those payroll costs on house hack. So, so we haven't been. Uh, house hack uh, with the idea of it being sort of the vanguard of, of real estate, just like in the first offering, it, it's, it's not expected to be a dividend play, right? Maybe the individual like offerings or whatever that it might have in the future, uh, Maybe those would, but it's it's not something that's a, a priority right now. Uh, minimum investment for non-accredited in house hack will probably be ten thousand uh, dollars to get started. So stay tuned for that. Uh, and uh, ten thousand, 
probably around September 1st. We're probably only going to do it for like a 30 day run raise. I, I really hate fundraising because it's a pain in the butt. That's a lot of work, uh, it creates a lot of regulatory, you know, headache, uh, just making sure everything is perfect all the time. And I'd rather focus on actually operating than sitting around trying to like sell stock. So we'll probably have like a 30 day window and that's it. So that'll probably be September. Yeah, and, and I know some people are like, oh, how, you know, how, how is it a company with one employee? Well, well, I mean, like, obviously I count, but I'm not a paid employee. Like you're investing in my vision for the company, right? I mean, I could go like this and we're at, you know, 10 employees. I could go like this and we're at 15 employees, but I'm not doing that because I'm not putting the costs on that company because it's not fair to do that. So like anybody who's like, what the employee count is too low. Okay. <laughs> now I want you to know this, when it comes to AI, time is what's going to make you money. And if you can prove that value to an employer, you'll always be able to be employed. So this is another way of making sure that you don't get replaced by artificial intelligence. If you can master AI by starting on the ground floor, let's go.